So the World Cup is going as scripted, and I'm going to explain. In every World Cup, there's one team that surprised the world, literally goes through the group stages and surprises everybody. That is Japan. There's also one team that everybody expects them to go out the way and perhaps win the trophy, but they, they, they go out literally in the group stages. Usually, we call them the champion cares. But this time around, France, who are the champions, managed to go out of their group. But it's Germany. For the second time after 2018, they still fail to go out from the group stages. There's also one team that their home country expects them to perform more, well, but they end up disgracing them. And I think this time around, it's Black Stars and Belgium. There's also one that surprises everybody in a group stage and go out of their group. And this time around, I think it's Japan. They surprise everyone and went to the round of 16. And then there's the tournament favorites. They are not favorites before the start of the tournament. But when the tournament starts, out of anywhere, the football goals go their way and they manage to perform. And I think it's Morocco. This World Cup has been a bit of surprising. From Saudi Arabia beating Argentina, from Lionel Messi trying to grind results, from Cristiano Ronaldo's Portugal grinding results without his presence, and Brazil bossing everybody, with Mbappe making history here and there. This World Cup has every tournament has been exciting with a lot of history. My name is Delali Frank, and I'm going to give you some updates so far as the World Cup is concerned. So, so soon the World Cup is coming to an end. The boys have been literally separated from the men. I'm sure it's a statement that you've been hearing often, but when it comes to competition like this, literally the boys go home and the men stay around. We are in the round of, we just played a round of 16 with just going there with the same way that we're expecting Brazil beating Korea, Spain losing to Morocco because of the home fans. We saw Croatia beating Japan, grinding their results just like how they do it. I think they are the best team when it comes to grinding results and they know how to do it. They went through the group stages, went through the round of 16, through the penalties, and they are in the semi finals. Netherlands surprising everybody and playing some beautiful band of football and they are in the quarterfinals now. So the quarterfinals is set. Croatia will be playing Brazil. Netherlands will be playing Argentina. Morocco, Portugal, and England, France. Morocco, Portugal. Morocco, Portugal. I, I, watched, I watched Morocco play and I watched Portugal play. Portugal without Cristiano Ronaldo, obviously a better team, like we all know. But you can't also downplay the influence of Cristiano Ronaldo. In a game that Portugal were leading literally 4-5-0, the fans were still cheering and they were still calling for Cristiano Ronaldo. Over 80,000 supporters telling you the coach to bring a player on. I don't know what it takes for you to not to play him. I see Portugal playing Cristiano Ronaldo in the quarterfinals game. I see that happening because it's a big game. You need your big player to show up. You need the presence of Ronaldo in the game to put a lot of pressure on Morocco defense. Because if you are looking for a team that defends very well, it's Morocco. That's how they managed to be Spain. They were fortunate to have the fans behind them and they were also fortunate to defend very well. Spain just passed the ball around. But it's not going to be that easy against Portugal because Portugal don't pass the ball around. They try to put in a lot of crosses. They try to strike from behind. They try to they score all kinds of goals. And if you watch them and the kind of goals they've scored, they don't score similar passing goals. They don't just pass the ball around. They don't wait for you to open up as a defense. They can strike from afar. They can play on counter break. So Morocco needs to be careful. I would not be surprised if Morocco goes to the semi-finals of this World Cup. I always say that if, if they are not playing against Brazil or France or Argentina, they are going to the semi-finals. You have the home fans behind them. I've been to the stadium. I've watched enough games to tell you that if the fans support you, you are winning the game. This World Cup is like that. If the fans are behind you, I don't know about any other World Cup because this is the one that I've been fortunate to be closer to the games. If the fans are behind you, you are winning the game. Morocco, Portugal, Morocco should win this one. And they will win. You can mark this one down. Morocco beat Portugal. I told a friend that Morocco is beating Spain. He didn't believe it. It happened. They are beating Portugal today. Like, they literally do it. They will do it. England, France, you know. I think... It should be the most exciting game, yeah. But England's journey to the World Cup literally will come to an end because they are playing France. And it's because of this. England have a very young squad. When a commentator said that 
the disadvantage of having young players in your team is that when it's going very well, they perform well. But when things get tough, you struggle to get them to show up. And England have done that in their games. Some of their games, they fail to show up. And I think against France, they might do that. The France team has one thing that a lot of the teams around don't have, a character to play as champions. You would believe that 80% of the French national team, maybe the starters that won them the World Cup in 2018, are not part of the squad. But they've bossed their games, and they've outplayed every opponent that they play against. You have Kylian Mbappe, a player that can run at you. And England don't have the best defenders. Like, that is the truth. They don't have... They have good offensive players, players that can score good goals. But when it comes to their defense, bro, any team that has my Harry Maguire at the back, they have a problem. If they are star man behind and the French national team is just targeting. They have an experienced coach and it might go their way. So for me, I think France should go through. Morocco will beat Portugal. They should be able to beat them. I would not be surprised if Morocco goes to the finals of the World Cup. And it might be the shock of the world, but football in the Arab world, those guys know how to support their own. So Brazil, Croatia. Croatia are literally a stubborn side. From, 20, from 2018, they played similar brand of football, went all the way to the final. Surprise everybody. And they are literally doing the same thing. They are very difficult to beat. They will definitely concede, yes, but they will definitely score. They can hold you and take you all the way to the finals, to the, to the extra time. They have that energy to play that kind of football. And when you go to the penalty shootouts, they literally they are good at it. Unfortunately for them, they are facing Brazil. A side that can play good football when they are on the pitch, have that enough quality to go all the way to wherever minutes you want them to play. When it comes to the penalty shootout, too, I think they are one of the technically good players and they, can, they have that quality to play. They are playing against Brazil. It's a difficult one to call. You can easily say Brazil is going to win because of the quality they have. But if you watch Croatia and how they play, they are sub one style to beat. It's going to be a difficult game, a very close game. It might not be just open like you saw against Brazil and South Korea. But I think Brazil should be able to go through. It's going to be difficult for, for them. But at the end, I think they have enough quality should be able to pick this one up. Look at the football they've been playing. I think they should be able to win this one. Netherlands, Argentina. I think Netherlands have surprised everybody, literally. A young team. They are still building the team under Louis Van Gaal. Experienced manager, of course, but he's still putting the squad together. They played one of the exciting football in this competition. Very quick, pissy, dominant opponents in the out They are playing against Argentina. Argentina, a team that literally lies on Lionel Messi, in as much as they have some good quality players. but. At the end, they need Lionel Messi to show up and score. Yes, if you have a big player, you always expect him to show up and, and score. Unlike Portugal, where without, Ronaldo, without Cristiano Ronaldo, they still go ahead and win games. Argentina, without Messi, they move from a tier A team to literally a DC side because Lionel Messi is not present. And we saw it against Saudi Arabia. I'm looking at how Argentina with Lionel Messi can show up. If Messi turns up, obviously they are winning the game. But if Messi have a bad day, Netherlands might surprise them. I think Netherlands have a, a slim chance, but if Messi shows up, he's beating them. So these are my predictions in the quarterfinals, literally the semi final. The World Cup is in a way that definitely the favorites will still go ahead and win the World Cup. Like either Brazil, Brazil, Argentina, France, any one of them would win. But there's always one team that surprises everybody. And I think this time around, it's going to be Morocco, just like what Croatia did the 2018 World Cup. My name is Delali Frank. Once we meet again, bye-bye for now.